No, I mean, I think overall, like as a summary, I mean, obviously I, I think I had a good year. Um, I think it definitely could have been better. I feel like, I mean, I, I had some games that, you know, I just uh, didn't really do what I expected to do in those games, but I mean, that's pitching. Um, but I, I learned a lot as far as the game and the hitters and the teams um, and, and stuff like that. But uh, it's just something that I, I learned a lot that hopefully I can take in the next year if I get a chance to come back and use that as, as knowledge and uh, stuff from Arsenal to hopefully have a, a better season next year. But I think overall, I think it was a good learning experience. The game, uh, when I went at Lotte, I went eight innings. Uh, I, I, I got the loss that game, but there was a big situation in the eighth inning where I had a leadoff double and then they bunted him over to third base. And the game was two to one at that point, top of the eighth. And I was able to get a strikeout and then a little pop flat at third base to get out of the inning to keep it two to one. Uh, I was really pumped up on that game. Um, and then Hanwha uh, got the no decision on that one. That was four to four. Um, but I went out for the eighth and had I forgot how I had two guys on. I don't know how it happened. I think it was like an error and like a hit or something like that. Ended up striking out the side to get out of the jam. And I had reached my pitch count. And like that's when I kind of helped one of those games where I helped figure to get one more batter. Mm -hmm. And pitch coach gave me one more hitter and ended up striking him out. And I was really fired up for that. Um, so I, I think those two games, as far as the competitive environment and really getting that last out and getting fired up, I, I think those are two that kind of stick out to me. Even though I, I didn't get wins in either one of them, uh, I think those, those are some fun games. Feel kind of bad about not oh, absolutely. No, absolutely. I mean, especially throughout this season, um, even though I, I pointed out those two games like that for me personally were like a high intense environment, I don't, I don't think there was fans for either, either one of those games. I know that the Lotte one, there was no fans. And I don't think the Hanwha, that doubleheader of the Hanwha didn't have fans that either, right? But I just know, like, besides those two games, there are a lot of other, like, you know, intense games um, that if fans were in the stands, you get that much more adrenaline and it's that much more, like, amped up to get, you know, really excited. Um, not only for yourself, but because, you, you know, the fans are behind it. And when you succeed in those big moments, the fans get really excited. And that, that, that's what you live mm -hmm. for. That's why you play the game. I mean, you can't really... You can't really substitute that feeling for anything else, and especially when there's nobody out there. I mean, even for us this year, we've had a couple walk-off wins when it's just us, and it's so quiet, and it's night, and it's it's not the same environment. So, um, and I know the, the fans hate it more than anyone. I mean, we love playing in front of fans. I know I do myself personally. It's just a whole new environment, um, and it's just a lot more fun. But uh, especially for them, like having to be home because they're so passionate about us and the team and baseball in general. Um, they're just such good sports, and for them to not be able to come here, it obviously that you know it really hard on them as well. So I'm just glad that we've able to had certain times in the year we've had the fans, especially the last game tonight, we're able to have people here. Um, I, I know they're all super excited. So I'm just hoping, like again next year, if I can come back, um, fortunate enough for that, that Corona has kind of calmed down enough to where fans are able to come back and we can get back to normal baseball. Because I'm, I'm excited to experience that in all of its glory. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the biggest difference? Well, I mean, as far as like pitching in like a game environment, playing in Japan and Korea obviously is completely different from the United States as far as the fans with the songs and the cheers and the chants and all the energy. Uh, it's a much more laid back environment in the States, except for when you get to the postseason. Um, even, even then, depending on the team you play for, it's a little more of an intense environment. Uh, so that that's a huge difference right out of the gate is playing in front of like all the music and all that kind of stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Um, the fans are very more forgiving in the NPB and the KBO as far as as long as you go out there and try your hardest. Like obviously they want you to succeed because everyone wants the team to win. But as long as they feel like you tried your hardest for the team, they're fine and they're still going to cheer for you. They're their level of cheering and support for you is not contingent upon your success. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's a big part as far as being a player. That, that That's a huge difference. Yeah, um, I, I got mostly it's all like baseball souvenirs and stuff. Um, getting a jersey and stuff from like another team in another country uh, is gonna be cool. Especially because in here, your last name is written in the, you know, the Korean characters. So um, I brought some jerseys home for, for some of my closer friends. Um, and then Bradley, that kid's got enough gifts as it is. But uh, no, I mean, I, I mean, like we got some toys and stuff. Um, but you know, we got Christmas coming up, so we're trying to we're trying to like not give him anything else until Christmas, so that way he's kind of used to like 
not getting presents all the time. You get gifts on your birthday and you get gifts from Santa Claus. So we're trying to wait until Santa comes on Christmas to let him get some more gifts. When you get there, right? Yeah. Do you no, have same a day. costume? I, I don't have a costume, um, but I mean, Bradley has a, a little costume that he's going to wear. Yeah. Is it so this is this is off of a show called PJ Mask in the States. It's, it, it, it's these three superheroes, and like th this character is Gecko. So he's just like he loves like getting his little costume. Gecko, Gecko, is that you? <laughs> so he loves it. He, he, he thinks he's super cool. But yeah, he's he's a lot of fun. He, like so, like during this whole video, he's watching TV, so you can tell because his eyes like he gets locked in on TV, and then he he just checks out. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we're we're super excited to go. Like he he was uh, like he painted a pumpkin and stuff, and he's been making like um, like Halloween designs with his hand. Like he makes this like Halloween design with Ashley because she's very obviously being a teacher, she does a lot of arts and crafts. So he makes like these Halloween like decorations and stuff and um, so he, he's definitely getting the spirit. He, he painted his pumpkin. He painted a pumpkin like with his own hands and like finger paint and stuff. And he's like stuck like eyeball stickers all over it. So it was really sweet. Um, so I mean, I'm not so much worried about me dressing up as I am just getting to see him and hold him. And just sounds like smell him and just, just that baby smell, you know, and just take him trick or treating, you know, holding his hand. So it's, it's just gonna be, be a lot of fun because the freaking kid loves candy, so he, he's super excited about that. I think, oh, yeah, yeah she'll, she'll post. She'll post all oh, kinds of stuff. I, 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 I think she's like she's gonna. You don't use the pictures. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, stuff. for sure. Yeah. She, yeah. Don't worry about that. Um, she's gonna. Uh, she's gonna get a video of like, because she's gonna pick, pick me up from the airport, and then when we get home, she's gonna like video me going to the front door and like ringing the doorbell so Bradley can come answer the door just to kind of get his reaction. I mean, hopefully he get like, he's really excited. So like, she'll video that so I can send that to you. Um, and then obviously trick or treat and show a bunch of pictures. So I, we'll send all those. I'm sure she'll post all that stuff as well. So. Before I forget, I I don't know the names. I forgot the names. Um, but the two people, I got two packages in the mail. So if you're watching and you know who you are, uh, the the jersey keychains and the note were super sweet. The letter was adorable. I loved it. And then the picture, uh, the light lighted frame with a picture that uh, got off Ash's Instagram is so very sweet. And the engraving on on the bottom uh, was so kind. So. For those of you who sent those, the two of you, you know who you are, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, uh, uh, I wanted to write him a letter back because we talked about it, but I got rid of the box on accident, so I didn't have the address. Oh yeah, we I started getting that blown up messages for <laughs> uh, for months now because like when actually first her, her Instagram was blowing up with like messages saying that they're they're gonna take my passport and stuff like that, and then we had one post. Like, what would they say? It's like, um, passport is green, but his blood is blue. Mm -hmm. um, but it was funny because I guess the Korean passport yeah, yeah. is green, but like my passport actually is blue. But I got the point of the of the message. It was really sweet. But yeah, I, I'm getting a lot of those lately. And like, I, I might not be able to respond to all of them, but for everyone that does send Ashley messages, don't ever be afraid to send her a message. She loves them. I love them. And whenever they do send messages, I always receive them and I always read them and I cherish every single one. So don't ever be afraid to send her messages and stuff. Like, you pick one. You, Jimmy. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, Claire. I don't know, man. Like, I, 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 got, I got a lot of 
great relationships with everyone. Um, I got a lot of in inside jokes with you know like, with, with different players, uh, like handshakes, different players. So I, mean, I, I got all kind of things. But um, as far as the p being a starting pitcher, obviously the starting pitchers hang out the most together. Um, so Cheche. Uh, me and him are, are really close. Uh, me and Mino are, are really close. Um, so as far as guys that I interact with the most, it, 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 it'd probably be those guys. But like I said, it, it really is hard to say because I, mean, I, I, I love everyone and like I, I got great relationships with, with, with everybody. Uh, yeah, guys, it's been an outstanding year. I know it's been a whirlwind for everyone. Um, I mean, speaking for myself personally, it's been crazy just with emotions of Corona and not know if we're gonna play or when we're gonna play and then fans or no fans and then my family here then having to leave and my wife being pregnant. There's been so much going on for everyone. Uh, and obviously we, as a team, we didn't have the season that everyone wanted and I know that you guys wanted us to, ha to have better results. But thick and thin, you guys were with us the whole time. When you guys were here, you were cheering every inning regardless of the score. You're always supporting us on social media. You guys have done nothing but been gracious and loving and supportive, so we can't thank you enough for that. Uh, but I myself personally have had a wonderful time here. I really hope I get the chance to come back and play for you guys again. Hopefully have a, an, a, another good year next year, make it even better, have my family here. We, we can all develop another relationship uh, with our daughter, and then you guys can get to know Bradley better, and you get to know Lily for the first time, and uh, hopefully we can have more interactions and all of this COVID nonsense will be done. But uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the kind words to my wife and my son and myself throughout the entire season, and it means the world. Love all you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys next year. Well, that's the thing. Is like, I, mean, I, I, I wanted to get my sweatshirt and stuff and sign it to like a, a little kid, but it's freaking stupid. And because the only time I'd be able to do it would be like after the game. But if, if I do it while I'm leaving the parking garage, it'd be way too dangerous because people would be like all over the car and stuff. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little onesie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I wore. Uh, 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 I, I wore it for Halloween. Yeah, the, 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 like, uh, cause I, I wore the swallows thing for Halloween, and Bradley had on a costume. That thing had over like ten thousand likes on Instagram. It was nuts. Cool. I mean, can you wear the lions like mascot? Um. Yeah, I, I, I can wear one for sure. I mean, I, 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 I honestly think I, 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 I think Pink Leo is Bradley's favorite. <laughs> He's his favorite, Pink Leo. <laughs>